Hello, you guys. Oh, don't mind me coming upstairs with all of my cups. I'm coming upstairs from my office because I am very hungry and we are doing a full day of eating today. So I'm going to make me some food and let's freaking do this. So before I make my food, let's go ahead and catch up from this morning. So it is, I don't know, mid morning right now. I woke up this morning and I went to the gym, went to body pump class. Let me tell you what, guys, I have not been, I said this in a previous video, I just have not been making movement as much of a focus. It felt good to get back to it today, but it's okay if you take a break and or you haven't gone to something in a while, it's okay for it to feel hard. Movement is practice, right? So it felt good to have it feel hard today, but I feel like my legs are gonna feel it. So I did body pump, which is like a strength training class. On my way there, I had safe and fair birthday cake granola. Let me grab that. Okay, so I opened a fresh bag of the good stuff, the safe and fair birthday cake granola. To give my body some fuel in the morning before my workout so that I actually had energy to lift heavy things. And then when I got home, I just grabbed a premier protein shake. These are my favorite easy protein sources in the morning because when I get home, I just wanna get snappy and get on the day, you know? So did that, did my morning routine, had some calls this morning, and now I'm feeling some tummy grumbles. So we're gonna make some, I'm gonna go with smoothie cereal, obsessed with smoothie cereal, if you not have not had it. It is very, why am I making it right now? I always like to tell you the why. If you're new here, I feel like I'm just like so high energy today. I'm Colleen, I'm a non-diet intuitive eating registered dietitian, and with these full days of eating, I am here to help you understand the why behind my food choices as an intuitive eater. So I make sure to leave some things ambiguous so there's no comparisonitis, give you some fun new ideas to try, but also explain how and why I make my food choices as an intuitive eater. So both of these were very, what I call practical hunger. I knew my body could use some protein. I was feeling some hunger cues. So it was kind of a mix of that, but this was a lot of that practical hunger too. I wasn't necessarily feeling like, oh my gosh, I want birthday cake in the morning, but I know how this affects my workout. It helps me feel better. It also helps prevent soreness later on. So intuitive eating is using a lot of different components. It's, I always talk about the triangle of awareness in the society with my clients, and it takes into consideration our thoughts, our emotions, and our cravings. So it's a dynamic interplay of that. It's not just eat when you're hungry, stop when you're full, or you know, eat all, all the things. It's a lot more nuanced than that and that's what I'm gonna show you in this video. So let's get on with right now. I'm gonna make some smoothie cereal. I have a recipe for that. I will show you. It is my favorite because it is delicious. The texture is the best. It's a mix between like a yogurt bowl and cereal with milk and it keeps me freaking full for so long. And there's so many elements like crunch, creaminess. It just, it's just so satisfying. So I'm gonna go make that and then I'll show you when it's done. Okay, so to make smoothie cereal, I start off with just some yogurt. So just put that right in a bowl, you can use any kind. And then I have been loving taking berries and actually microwaving them so they're a little bit warm. I like the contrast between the coolness of the yogurt and the milk and then like the warmth, I don't know, I love it. So you're just gonna add those, you can use, I just use frozen, I microwave them till they're not frozen. You could use frozen too for a little bit of almost like smoothie vibe going. So have that, that, and then I add some cereal. I really like this fiber one cereal. So I'm gonna go ahead and add some of that. Cool. Okay, so then we are going to have freeze dried strawberries. Very important. These are the best. I don't know why, it just adds a perfect crunch. I've always enjoyed like the freeze dried fruit in cereal, like the crunch of it. So I add those and then we are going to mix it up just a little bit here. And then I didn't grab my milk, so I'm gonna go grab that. Got some milk. So then the reason I add milk is because I think the texture of cereal is too thin and I think yogurt is too thick. So this just makes it the perfect combo. And then I'm going to grab myself a spoon and add two more things. So I'm gonna add a, just a scoop of peanut butter here. Put that in, so I have two spoons. <laughs> nice smoothie cereal right now. And then I'm gonna add some coconut flakes. I love these too. So we're just gonna add those on top. Ba -ba -ba, good to go. I love smoothie cereal. All right, friends, we're gonna eat the smoothie cereal. Big old piece of strawberry. Mm, this is my favorite go-to. Just the best. Delicious, keeps me full. What's not to love? I do try to change up my breakfast. 
just to keep things interesting and make sure I don't get into a rut. But it's definitely okay, even as an intuitive eater, to have things that you're like, I just really like that, so I choose to eat that. The key is you shouldn't feel guilt, stress, or anxiety if that's not available. You don't want to become so accustomed to it that you get thrown for a loop when you can't have it or when it's not available or if they're out at the grocery store, like whatever, you wanna stay flexible. Mm, delicious. After this, I'm gonna go ahead and make some egg salad. I told myself for the past couple days, I'm gonna make egg salad, I'm gonna make egg salad. And I haven't, so I'll show you guys how I do that. I make it in the Instant Pot, it's no peel egg salad. I have a recipe for that as well. So I'll show you how I do that after this. So I made an egg salad sandwich. Seriously, if you have not made egg salad in like the egg loaf like that, it's so much easier. It's in the recipe for the egg salad. I'll put it in the description. So I'm having this. I wanted it on a bun. I don't know why. I, I've just been on like a kick with buns. I don't know. But so that's what we're gonna have. And then I just brought the watermelon out. I love watermelon, especially like in the peak summer. So then I just brought a fork and I'm gonna go to town with it. So that's what I'm having for lunch. I have a meeting in 10 minutes, so this is gonna be a pretty fast lunch, but that's okay. You can't always have super mindful, slow, savor at meals. It's just not realistic, right? So the why behind this, I always try to give my body carbs, fat, and protein. I know that's gonna help me stay full and satisfied longer. I always try to add a little bit of color in there for, yes, that is, gives it kind of like a micronutrient punch and adding a variety of colors can do that. It's also visually satisfying too. We do also eat with our eyes. So that's kind of part of the why. And then also, to me, egg salad is just such a summer meal. So it's got like the summer vibes, even though it's kind of like rainy today, but this might not be as satisfying in the winter months. It's just seasonal things, you know? So I'm gonna go ahead and go to town eating this and then I have group coaching in the society in 10 minutes. So I'm gonna enjoy this. I'm feeling like I'm at a polite hunger right now. So it's not like, oh my gosh, I'm so hungry. It's, I would say like, I'm at a, I'm at a good hunger point right now. And it's just great. It's not enjoyable to eat when you're overly hungry or overly full. I'm feeling good. Mm. I would get really messy with egg salad. I remember when I had food rolls, I thought that you shouldn't eat the yolk. And that's totally not true. It's so much more delicious with the yolk. And it's so, there's a lot of nutrients in there that can help keep you full and keep you satisfied. Diet culture's idea of cut out any fat or anything like that, because there is some fat in there, but that's good. That's gonna help keep us full and satisfied. It's just so much more satisfying. With the full yolk. I just need a minute. I just need a minute. You guys, always cut onions when you wear contacts. Note to self, okay? <laughs> I'm making taco salads for dinner and I usually most of the time wear my contacts. Do not have my contacts in right now. So there's that, I just got two full onions and we're struggling. But that's what we're having for dinner, we're having taco salads. I am going to get everything prepared for taco salads. I'll show you how to make them and then as that's cooking, I'm actually, we're gonna do this a little out of order. I'm gonna sit down and then we'll recap this afternoon and then why I'm making taco salads. But Let's get that going first. All right, so like I said, I'm making taco salad. So I just have some ground beef in here and then I just use just taco seasoning mix, like, I don't know, half a packet. Put that in here and then what I like to do, so this has been browning in here for, I don't know, five-ish minutes. I push it all to one side and then I, I take a bunch of onions, peppers. Um, I had a lot that just really needed to be used, so I just chopped all of them and I'm just gonna throw them in there. I also think like the peppers are low-key like the best part of a taco salad. So I am just going to push those all in here 
And really what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab a top, hi baby, and throw this on there. So this will sit for like, I don't know, five, 10 minutes just till the peppers get soft. Okay, so for the taco sales, we have lettuce here. I have been digging adding these to taco sales. I just think it's fun. Yes, you can do something a little more nutrient dense, but you also can just have something fun. This is actually super nostalgic for me. My mom would use those growing up and then we have some greek yogurt here we have some salsa and then we also have some avocado and that's what we're gonna have hi baby hi baby oh yes oh hello. i need to talk to the people okay and i know i thank you so much for the hug i so appreciate it fucking like oh this is a this is a nice toy you guys this is a nice toy theo's showing up you oh that's nice you have an attention problem honey you have an attention problem anyway you guys so <laughs> don't mind him let's catch up so in the afternoon i got hungry after your this is lopsided i feel let's fix you maybe not anywho so in the afternoon i felt some hunger cues i got pretty hungry during one of my meetings. So I knew that when I got off, I was like, I need a fast snack because your girl's getting hungry. I was getting into the like, potentially, okay, we're tipping into the not pleasant hunger, right? It's kind of like, I could see hangry territory coming. So I grabbed a protein bar, super easy, super fast. I was like, I just need something fast. So I grabbed that. And then after I ate it, I was like, you know what? I'm still kind of hungry. So I had another snack, cottage cheese and chips. I used sun chips the best you guys, it's my favorite snack. It's okay if you have a snack bar or something that quote unquote should be meant for a snack and it doesn't fill you. Like it's okay to go back and have something else. Listen to your body, right? That's part of intuitive eating, part of intuitive eating, right? It's not just the whole part of it. We also remember our brain is also a part of our body. There's a lot more to it than just hunger and fullness cues. But I honored my hunger cues that I felt and I had some more snack. This dog, you guys. So now we're having dinner. I'm making taco salads, like I said. And honestly, I feel like lately I've been, today in general, I feel like I've been craving more like light fruity thing, not light and fruity, but light and crisp, summery vibe things. That's a good way to put it. So we're going to have some, taco salads and that wasn't even necessarily a decision that I came across because like a taco salad sounds good it was more of the light crisp crunch and the peppers the lettuce all of those things and then also the peppers needed to be used so that's what we're using so that's what we're having for dinner hi baby no oh 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 all right i'm gonna go check on the um dinner but i'm also gonna go try to get a hold of this guy he's bananas. I've already filled his con. Also, one more thing. I feel like it was funny as I was doing the whole crying thing with dinner. I kind of thought I was like, you know what? There has been times when I had such a reaction to that because of food. And if you're in that place, I feel you. I know sometimes it's easy to look at these full days of eatings that I do and just think, oh, eating so easy for her. It was not always easy for me, right? And it is now, but a lot of work has been put in to regain a healthy relationship with food, to regain trust with my body, to not restrict, to not binge, to find this quote unquote balance. So I hope that just, just keep that in mind as if you are watching these and you don't have a great relationship with food or you would have that level of anxiety, know that I'm here for you. That's my literal job. I teach thousands of people how to do that every single day to literally live a life of no food rules. So if you are in that place, if eating is tough for you, causes anxiety, stress, if you don't eat in a way that feels good to your body, I will link information on the society where I do all of my coaching in the description of this video. I've been there and it sucks. So just know that I'm here for you with YouTube videos. If you want to take it a step further and join the society, I'm absolutely here for you. All right. So we had dinner and now we're going to have a little, ooh, brought you down there a little dessert so we found this like new little super cute like kind of vintagey candy shop when we were just out walking a couple weekends ago and they have all of these taffies but in like really some more like normal flavors like i think this one was like cotton candy this one's cinnamon roll chocolate chip but they also had like pickle and chicken and waffles chicken and waffles one it didn't, it kind of just tasted like slightly mapley, but we are going to, I have, have my husband pick one, which one we're gonna have. I'm really like not hungry, like I'm pretty full, but I just want some, and that's fine. I don't know what one this is. I don't think it's the dill pickle. Two out of five. Okay, let's try it. All right, what is it? I'm not sure. <laughs> find out. 
I genuinely don't know. Key lime. Mm. All right, guys, I think that's all she wrote for today. I'm pretty full right now. I have some things that I just need to finish up, so I'm going to do that. If I get anything else, I'll let you guys know, but if not, that's a wrap for the day, a day of easy eating. That's got, that's catchy, easy eating. Took up very little brain space, felt good. So as always, if you need help with intuitive eating and learning to make eating easy again and living without food rules, I will post some links in the description. We have a, like I said, the society is always there for you. And if you haven't snagged my five-step guide, the five unskippable steps to intuitive eating and living with no food rules and the five most common missteps, you're gonna wanna snag it. So I will link that in the description as well. But as always guys, if you like this video, let me know, give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments if you like these full days of eating and be sure to subscribe if you're not and hit the little bell to be notified every time a new video is uploaded, which is every single Thursday. And with that, my arm is killing me from holding up this camera. So I'm going to shut you guys off, finish what I gotta do and get to bed. See you later. I'm back. Okay, so last night I was up way past my bedtime. I went to bed at like 11. Had some ice cream before I went to bed. Totally fine. So yeah, just wanted to give you that update. It wasn't necessarily, uh, I don't, honestly, I don't know if it was hunger or if it was a craving, but I felt it, I wanted it, and I honored it. Went to bed with a happy belly, woke up this morning feeling fine, no guilt. So just thought I'd update you. Now I'll actually see you next week. Mm -hmm.